latest on major hurricane Aletta, which has intensified rapidly over the course of the overnight hours. Coming into this morning, it has winds of 140 miles per hour and a pressure of 943 millibars. The National Hurricane Center's latest advisory, which came out moments ago, uh, expects more strengthening in the next 12 hours to 145 miles per hour before weakening ensues. It's at 15.8 north, 111.3 degrees west. Well, the GFS doesn't quite agree, but uh, it is probably catch, playing catch-up right now to its intensity. And it shows a storm moving towards the northwest and a very broad system developing into our next storm coming into early next week. And that could also become a hurricane, but uh, the GFS in particular here has completely backed off the intensity of that second storm. It was saying Category 3 or more last time. It's a stage 6 though, a letter on the CDPS scale, which means that if it was anywhere near land, catastrophic damage would be expected. Thankfully it isn't, and no watches or warnings are in effect, and none are likely to take effect either. The storm's likely to move towards the west-northwest, possibly a little bit more northwesterly. That shouldn't affect chances of storm conditions anywhere, uh, but here they are anyway. Um, as we watch a letter go off towards the northwest in general and the next system form behind it which could get a little bit closer to the Mexican land mass. Uh, although having said that it doesn't appear as though it's going to get too close for comfort and will probably go harmlessly out to sea just like a letter. You see a letter just completely weakening and dying off early next week as it moves out into the open Pacific Ocean. Uh, but it is certainly a significant start if you want to call this the start of the Pacific hurricane season. Of course, Aleta is the second cyclone. The first was only a depression. Sea surface temperatures will start to decline pretty soon, but right now they're still fairly warm. 27 or 28 degrees Celsius, maybe pushing 29. Wind shear is also getting closer to a knife edge. Uh, still fairly low at this time, but very high amounts of wind shear aren't too far away. Um, just towards the northwest and those will increase significantly over time. Well we're just getting the first visible pictures of a letter this morning. Uh, you can see it's got a very nice looking eye, uh, uh, positive temperatures above freezing temperatures in the eye which is certainly a significant sign of strength and cloud tops a full ring just about of minus 70 degrees which usually constitutes category 4 status as can be seen here. The weakest side of the storm appears to be in the northwest with the strongest side the southwest. The northeast rather is the weakest side. Dry air hasn't been such an issue recently as you can see that band to the west is still shielding the storm and further strengthening is possible. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13, subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page under the same name, and we're also on Twitter. It's at Force 13 if you'd like to get in touch or follow our page there. This week, Force 13 also launched a new Patreon page. If you'd like to consider helping the project out, supporting it, uh, as it goes even bigger and better, as Alex Zaragoza and Hank Dulce has done so far, please consider it. Take a look at the page. All contributions are invested straight back into the project. All of our letter updates are in partnership with Hypercyclone X, a Mexican Facebook page, and uh, they're providing regular updates on this storm in English and in Spanish. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.